Being able to read all of these information is one thing and turning them into a 3D model is something else. This is a pre-built structural column and we are going to learn how we can add this beam to it with all of these connections. For modeling, we have two different ways. You can either start with this beam, you can go to plan view and add the other side of this beam to it or you can start with this connection here. The second way is easier for modeling so we are going to start with that. Go to still tab and select this plate. In here, first we are going to set our work plan on this part. So click on this part and this one and then click on here, this section exactly. If you look at this part, you can see that we have two plates of this size with 30 millimeter thickness and 280 millimeter width and 700 millimeter height. And if you want to look at it closely, you can go to this detail in here. This is exactly our plate and we are going to model it in this part. So go to right view and first draw a rectangle in here. We have 28 centimeter in this part and 70 centimeter in here. Okay, if you want to locate it exactly in the center of this part, as you can see in here, it's exactly in the center. You can create a line in here and another one in this part from its center to the center and you can use them to move it exactly to here. If you zoom in a little bit, you can find exactly its center. Now you can delete this part and hit finish. You can just simply change its thickness from this part. As you can see in this part, we have two of them with no space between them. So I'm going to go to plan view and in here I'm going to select it and with this copy I'm going to create another one exactly in here. For these bolts in here, if we use this detail, it would be much better. For adding bolts, first you need to click on this option here and then select the object, select the element that you want to add those bolts to. We are going to select this one. Then press enter once and then again you need to select the face. Then you can select this rectangle and in this view just draw a rectangle simply here. We have 65 centimeter offset from these two sides so I'm going to set this part on 65 and also this part for its top part we have 60 millimeter offset and also we have the same number for its bottom now we can hit finish okay then you can change its diameter from this part or its type from here I'm going to change its diameter to 27 and then I'm going to go to top view and put this on wireframe so I can see this part better. Then I'm going to change its length to extend it to the other side. I think 4 cm could be good. Let's try 3 cm. Yes, it's good. So for adding these two parts, you can select your bolt and change the number of them from this part. You can increase them to something like this. But since we can't change the distance between them separately because we have like 21 centimeter in this part and 16 centimeter in here and again 21 centimeter for this part. Since we can't do that, we are going to set this on two and then create another one for this part. So while it's selected, copy it on itself and then go to edit pattern in right view and use this rectangle from this part to its center. Now create another one in here with like 80 cm, half of this number and again put it exactly in here. Now you can select this one, put it on exactly here and then mirror it to the other side. Delete this one and also the first rectangle and now you can just simply trim these two parts together. Hit finish and we're done with bolts. Now we can add the beam. So I'm going to select this one and in this plan view I'm going to copy it again on itself. With these handles I'm going to drag it here and then I'm going to connect it to this part. The third part is this plate in here. If you look closely, you can see its detail in here. We have four of these plates in 10 millimeter thickness with these dimensions. 
Let's go to this detail in this part and see its exact size. For modeling it, I'm going to go to this plan view and in this part, I'm going to create a reference plan in the center, exactly in here. And I'm going to change its name to plate. Then I'm going to go to one of these views or create a section if you want and I'm going to click on this plate. Now I'm going to set my work plan on this part and then I'm going to draw a rectangle in here. So I'm going to change this part to 13 centimeter and the other side should be on 24 centimeter, which is. <laughs> For this part, I'm going to create a line in here and another one in this part. Then you can select it and change this dimension to 25 and also this part to 25 too. Now you can just simply attach them together with another line. Use trim and then delete these two lines. Now I'm going to move it exactly to this part and hit finish. I'm going to go to level and change this thickness to 10 cm. Now since it's not in the center, I'm going to move it to here. If you look at this part, you can see that we need another one in this part. So I'm going to select it and use this mirror for creating another one in here. And if we go to this view, we can copy them again with mirror on this center to this part. And this is our perfect accurate VM connection. So yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!